Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an Android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. What kind of adjustments? Okay, I'm not scared at like fucking all. Nothing on this earth can actually freaking make me scared. But the thing is that this girl is so damn sexy <laughs> and so damn fucking beautiful and so damn realistic, bro. I can't tell. <laughs> you look like Chloe from this, bro. You're just so sexy. It would just fucking fuck me right away if I was a man. And uh, what I want to focus on the story with simpler controls, a more forgiving challenge with fewer chances to lose a character. Well, not really. I'm going with experienced. Because no matter what you do, you will always leave a person behind. You, you are, are now ready, ready to begin to Detroit. Remember, Remember, this is not just, just a story. story. This is our future. Bro, she's fucking right. 2008? Huh? Wait, there's a chip on their hat. I heard it once, somewhere, this is basically MetaMask, yeah, just like in GTA, great, you can actually fucking control it down. I forgot what I was going to say. So, so, is this the feature? Oh my god. What the hell? It's like, nothing like what I've seen. The fucking graphics, the everything, every kind of motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my way. Is there a speed up button where you can freaking speed up your wall? Where the fuck is Captain Allen? Oh, this one, I guess. Is that it? Hey, bitch. Hello. Talk. One. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Can we change your name? It's fire and everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. You can easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. I don't know, deactivation code! Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Um, everything! Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So I, I didn't ask I asked the main now. question. I'll take care of <laughs> What the fuck did I just do that it gave me freaking 48 percentage? Oh, there's a freaking piano down there. Can we play this? It's like Lucifer at crime scenes. Okay. Oh fuck! This is not a crime scene. This is this is not a crime scene. This is about to fucking happen. Nope, we can't go there. What about using some kind of androidical spiritual powers? <laughs> oh god, that chip is actually freaking telling you the whole fact like Google. Okay, so just because I'm protagonist. Everyone is waiting down here just to not say this girl so that time passes, but this girl is still there. Oh no! Come on, boy. Fuck! Who's also an Android? No! It's too fucking dramatic. I can't stand that noise anymore! Tell the helicopter! Yeah, Mr. D is the fucking machine. Except. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck am I doing. Uh, trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you everything will be fine. Let the hostage go, 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 go. No! Fuck me! Go! All that you can do is to fucking catch this little girl, but let the son of a bitch die because he's nothing at all. Oh my god, you're sacrificing yourself too? You got to be fucking with me, so two hundreds are fucking going. That's gonna fall, right? Successful? 
What? Why are you dying then? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Connor's dead. I know he's dead. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. Hey, girl. Wait, are we also being sold? Yes! Car. No. My name is Car. The graphics fucks the planet. Oh, yeah. They with Cage. I worship you. Oh, we're going to paint shop. Yes! I would like to freaking hang around. What about that? Can we talk to them? No, fucking course not. It is not programmed as that. Uh, can we change weaves like in GTA? No. I guess we can't. Hello, I want to freaking run too. What kind of an outstanding thing it is. You actually can use a GPS on your hat. Wait, wait, wait. I want, I want to give something to this man. Q. Q. We just can't watch. Come the fuck on. What is the point of open world of them? Oh, you can't change the wheel like that. Yeah, oh shit. Wait. And here is a lot to break for you. I thought we are just cheating by uh, entering the number. So fun. I was so damned, I was like, fucking. Screw it, I cannot talk. I was swearing, why didn't they? I was swearing, why didn't they make any other easy way? And then I realized, like, there is an easy way. When you click E on your fucking keyboard. Yeah, okay. Now I found it. I can help you out, but I definitely, they don't fucking put an option for that. It all. <laughs> oh, what a pretty shop. Connect? Oh, you can do this by your friend. Verified. Handprint. Please confirm payment. And how do you do the payment? By your pay. Where are the flying cars? I cannot see anything on the sky. If those cars are buses? What are you guys up to? Oh, the buses are like that. Still a pain in the ass, then. Oh, wait. Are androids and humans separated from each other? So we switch back the girl again. I don't get the point for now, but I'm pretty sure that there will be a meaningful message just like in Korean movies. You coming? No, not coming today. <laughs> you do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. Basically, you're just gonna use me. Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Hold right click to scan your environment. Look around using the mouse. Oh god, imagine your brain is connected to a system like this. I would really want that. Nessa, if you're seeing this, come and get me. Right now. Um, take. I can't believe that I'm fucking doing this. Yeah. I made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. Yeah, I mean, did you have to say that? Are you gonna get to this upstairs today? Not like that, obviously. I'm really wondering about how to make it bad because I normally don't. That's why I never made a bad in my whole damn life. If I were you, I would have fucking take that gun and kill him. I know what you're thinking. Yes. Fucking loser. Yes. Get a job. Take care of his family. Fuck yeah. You hate me. You hate me. Are you gonna kill her now? Say it. You hate me. Of course she hates you if you act this way. So the date is still November fifth. It doesn't change at all. I can only the power changes and we switch back to that other Android again. 
But why do we play as two characters? And how many storylines are there? Deposit package. Yep, the package that we got from the paint shop. Just not this way. What the, f where the fuck am I supposed to do? Go inside from the window or what? Oh. Fuck me. Carl. That must be a little kiddo. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Carl is a man. But what about that man we saw in the beginning though? If there was an error, then it will be our main storyline where we're going to encounter some kind of technical issues about androids, but basically. Okay, the question is, we'll see about that. how are we gonna do that now? Maybe that is a new video. technology. Oh wow, oh wow! In the future, you won't need your parents. You won't need your grandmother. Your grandparents won't need you. 